Hello YouTube, Robert Alvarez the Psychic Witch, also known as Mr. Lighting and a Fan. No fan, no need. But I wanted to take a few moments and make a video about um, a few things. But mainly, um, the topic of this video is this book. Oh my goddess, this, this series has consumed me. You know, I love the fact that it's based on an actual person, namely Cleopatra's daughter, hence the name of the series. Um, I love the magic. I love the intrigue. I love um, the... I love the whole thing. I just love the whole thing. <clears throat> I pretty much devoured this one. And in the next two weeks, I will um, purchase the last novel in the series, which, if I'm not mistaken, is, is entitled Daughters of the Nile. And um, just so beautiful and so powerful. I love the fact that um, the goddess, more commonly known as Isis, is a prominent part of this novel. Um, you know, I remember the first time I went to the Metropolitan Museum of Art in Manhattan, in uh, NYC. I remember um, seeing this beautiful temple of Dendera, which, if, I'm, if I remember correctly, has been part of the Metropolitan Museum of Art's permanent collection since 1975. So five years after my body came into the world, that's when this museum acquired this piece. Um, and it's gorgeous. And then when I first purchased and began reading um, The Mysteries of Isis by De Tracy Regula, that's when I learned that um, the temple was constructed, um, no, it was commissioned by Augustus Caesar when Rome occupied Egypt. And Cleopatra clearly could be, cons could be considered um, a physical avatar of Isis. You know, um, there's another term that I use for that, but um, for lack of a better term of phrase, the physical manifestation of the goddess in human form. Although I truly believe that, that Isis, excuse me, that Cleopatra um, was more than human. I really believe that she did have this otherworldly quality about her. And, um, and I, I think that applies to a lot of the ancient Egyptians. I think that they just had this, this natural magic about them. Anyway, so, um, I, I'm... I'm in all the series. I love that I discovered it um, on a full moon, uh, on, a, on the date of a full moon. I love that I discovered both of the two novels on that same date. I love that they were just waiting there for me, because as far as I'm concerned, they were waiting there for me. I love that um, both of them feature the names of two full moon goddesses, namely Isis and Selene. I love the whole thing. I love the entire series. I have been utterly enamored by this series. And I'm not somebody that usually reads historical fiction. When it comes to fiction, um, I tend to read murder mysteries. I tend to read paranormals. I tend to read James Patterson. Um, but I've been enjoying this so much. And, and there aren't a lot of historical fiction novels that are set in ancient Egypt. So please, if you hear of any others, let me know, because I would love to, like, you know, buy them, borrow them from my local library, things like that. Um, and I, I know there are others, and, I, and I've come across a few, um, but this one just... Mm, just talking about it, the spirit comes upon me. It just, it's just... it's amazing. Um... I, I really enjoy this novel, and I'm looking forward to... I'm looking forward... Part of me is looking forward to the last novel in the series, because it's a trilogy. And the other part of me is like, oh man, can't you extend it more? But, you know, it's... it's you know, one can only do so much with historical fiction. 
Although, um, I don't know. I mean, you know, then again, I always consider Isis a triple goddess. So three novels in a trilogy really makes sense. So aside from that, um, I'm going to show off something that a very good friend and a personal hero gave me. Um, I've been want I, I've become quite enamored of a website called Etsy. Um, I'm sure some of you've heard of Etsy. I'm sure some of you live on Etsy. I'm sure some of you, you know. So, um, so my personal favorite tarot decks. I like to give them a very special pouch, and it was around the time that um, I think it was just about not too long after the sun entered Scorpio and one of my favorite artists Claude Monet was a Scorpio some of my favorite client students and friends by the way are Scorpios but that's another story so I remembered um, my personal hero was like so which one do you want and I'm browsing through the different pouches and this is the one that caught my eye and you know I love that it's a combination of of cotton and Dupioni silk. Oh man, when I saw that, I'm like, Dupioni silk, all right. Oh, mm. so um, I now here's the irony. I have not figured out which tarot deck is going to go in here. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm just like I've been wanting these forever. Oh, I need to acknowledge um, the seller, Wild Child Productions, and instead of an I in Wild or Child, a Y. So substitute the eyes in wild and child for wise. So W Y L D C H Y L D E um, productions. And pardon me, because something fell on the floor. Oh, that's funny. I don't remember. I think I purchased this at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. And I purchased it, no, I didn't. I purchased this someplace else. But I purchased it because I purchased a beautiful scarf at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. It was uh, blue silk. It was blue and white silk. Um, and being, you know, the moon magic witch, I, I'm especially fond of lunar colors. And, um, and so, yeah, so I, I'm, I'm actually thinking about wearing it soon. Um, to probably to you know something some some holiday function but yeah so I, I like this and I love that it's round and silver tone you know lunar mm -hmm. so anyway but I'm I'm really happy about this there are others um, and if you don't have Etsy um, Etsy I will tell you right now if you do not have a credit line of fifty thousand dollars um, it's very very easy to browse on Etsy for hours you know um, and it's funny because I remember the first time I really visited Etsy I was browsing through this seller's merchandise and that seller's merchandise and this favorited this and favorited that and I was just like wow I mean it's it and what, you know I, I've, I've often you know I have to acknowledge this because a lot of times I rag on Facebook, like a lot of people rag about Walmart on thanks on the day after Thanksgiving, you know, and and it's one of those things that it's like, okay, do I hate Facebook? No, because I don't hate anyone or anything. Do I love Facebook? No. Um, do I love the thought of deactivating my Facebook page? Oh, every fucking day, every motherfucking day, it's just like. Uh, but I, I know it serves a purpose for me. <sighs> Sometimes I forget what that purpose is. Because it's not like, you know, it's not like I need it professionally because I don't need it professionally. I, I, I look at what brings me clients. And I look at what I use and what I do that brings me clients. And Facebook isn't one of them. But I want to talk about good things, because I only have a few minutes left before I do, need to do things. Yeah, this is going to be a short video, or relatively short, because I'm looking at the counter and it's already closing, to, closing on 10 minutes. But um, I actually do want to put a special tarot deck in here. And I have a feeling I know which one it is. Yeah, um, 
Yeah, I really do. But I'll know for sure on Sunday when I'm back at, you know, before heading back to Catland. Anyway, so um, I wanted to keep this short and sweet, YouTube. Thank you so much for my new subscribers. Thank you for those of you that have commented, for those of you that have shared. Um, I'm doing good. The last two days have been especially hectic and frustrating. Um, they haven't been bad days. They've just been days that it's been one of those, uh, I'm receiving the good and the bad days. You know, and I'm not fond of those days because it's like I I like the I love the days when it's like I wake up and all these good things happen and all these good things come to me and then I go home I go to bed at night <sighs> I really can't do right now in spite of my yawning um, and I just feel good you know so um, and I and you know I I've come to realize that sometimes it really is a physiological thing. So, my blood sugar might be a little low, which is why all of a sudden I'm yawning and stuff like that. So, I need to eat something. Um, and I'm going to eat something. After this video. You know, because I, I don't know, I just, I, I would have a problem, you know, eating and then doing a video. Because I, I don't like talking with my mouth full. It's, it's, I think it's, I think it's very ill-dignified, to use a terror term. Although, I will say this, when I'm eating something and it's really good... I talk with my mouth full. Yeah. So, but that's, that's, that's a whole other video. You know, one of these days I might make a video about something that I cook. You know, but then, then that would be a good bit of a tease because I'm not feeding you. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. So, um, Song of the Nile, Stephanie Dre. And, um, I just love this series of novels. I really do. Um, I highly recommend them for those of you that love anything to do with goddesses that are full moon goddesses um, if you have a love of ancient Egypt or al Kemet to use its original name if you have a love of historical fiction if you have a love for um, novels set in the ancient world if you have a love of the great and glorious Oset who's more commonly known as nice Isis the queen of healers the mistress of magic the lady of words of power then I highly recommend this novel um, and um, yeah, so, so that's all with that. Anyway, YouTube, thank you so much. Have a beautiful night. I wish all of you many, many blessings. Thank you.